all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back update and information i see the hot in case you have not joined our social media and what are you waiting for uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification buttons so that whenever our news drop you go be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as it the hot <laughs> You know, shut up for your bodo. Uh, I gotta bring you the things where we say they happen uh, one by one. You know, go miss one as either be make a dish I'm out to you uh, one by one. I say good morning, good afternoon to you uh, wherever you are listening to me from. Still your one and only favorite. As either be, uh, matter don't bottle for whether they call Kogi State. <laughs> uh, they say suspected kidnapper so, uh, abducted seven children. Uh, they abducted the whole family. <laughs> and uh, uh, when I was looking at the people where we saying I them be the kidnapper, uh, he can be saying as small, small boys when never reach 18 years, uh, Sunday 18, Sunday 19, Sunday 17. Uh, I kind of wonder, I say, hmm, uh, the issue of insecurity where we say don't they for this nation? He don't they come out from the hand of the big, big people who then they enter small, small children where we say they grow? As if now another generation of evil uh, will be say with the enter for the Obodo. Meanwhile, uh, that blame we go carry and put for the government head uh, because now the failed government uh, and then they bring all this opportunity uh, for evil to the enter into the ha heart of small small children. They say idle man nine the workshop where they would they take work. Let's go down to the full detail of the information as see the be. It was gathered that kidnappers invaded the residence and beat up the family members before whisking away to their hideouts. Seven abducted victims have been rescued by the Kogi Vigilante Service in the Yaba East local government area of the state. The vigilante members also captured the sus suspected kidnappers during the operation. It was gathered that the kidnappers invaded the residence and beat up the family members before whisking them away to their hideouts. The head of the department slash media unit, office of the controller general of the service of the service, S.O. Saka, who disclosed this in a statement at weekend, said the operation took place on the 18th September 2024, following intelligent reports regarding the location of the kidnappers. The swift action by the KSVS came after reports emerged of individuals abducted in Yaba East area. Mobilized quickly, the vigilante team conducted thorough surveillance and coordinated efforts. The statement read, uh, My brother, when I don't see us, the matter they happen. <laughs> uh, you know, funny, oh. Uh, some people will go say uh, that they could talk about the issue of kidnap. I they laugh. Uh, why I they laugh? They say <laughs> before uh, if they talk make you if they say uh, they kidnap people, they kidnap people. They say they catch kidnappers. Uh, you go they look say if you go they see the people where do the kidnapping. You go see say na mature mature people where be say uh, they don't suck breast. Uh, their breast don't dry for their head. Hand you do a million ara for. You go not say now nah, people where we say they don't grow, <laughs> but what did they make me laugh this time? This one has small small children. Now nah, did they do this one? <laughs> I say <laughs> an idea I don't reach. Eh, but eh, the government will say they no want do anything for the masses, and eh, they go follow collect one day one because eh, as they send their children abroad, they send them to London. One day eh, they go come back home say okay, eh, may they come visit their papa land and it go be now that day. Nine MSCs go follow upon them. Meanwhile, uh, as it be, uh, today marks the fifth year in DSS detention uh, with Maze Nandekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. And of course, we don't know if this is a waiting trial. We don't know if it is a past judgment. We, we don't even know what this particular issue looks like. <laughs> because as it is, uh, the man has been there for six years. Without a proper judgment, the court of law have not passed their judgment. It has been from one adjournment, ad, adjournment and the other. Meanwhile, I see the B, 50 years in DSS detention won't kill me. Mas Nam the Kano. Now, Mas Nam the Kano, now they talk this one. If they tell you, I say, Mwoke Kakaraka, Mwoke Kakaraka, Ndibanyi Sikwana, Mwoke, Nyabulu Mwoke, Nada Dima, 
eh asina okeke wanyo no na adin tin jamuza wanyo na azo okeke egere mudu ya the leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob nam the kind of said an additional year in detention by the nigerian government will not kill him the pro biafra agitator disclosed this on tuesday while speaking to journalists upon the resumption of his trial in the federal high court in abuja he expressed dismay that the court has refused to abide by a determination of the supreme court on his request for bail he accused the cause of cherry picking that was contained in the supreme court judgment the ipo leader insisted that there cannot be any trial when the when the when key sections of the Nigerian constitution have been allegedly violated by the court. I am surprised that a high court refused to abide by a determination of the supreme judgment. The cherry picking of what was contained in the judgment is what I am against. It should be implemented holistically. I am not against any trial. After all, I am innocent. They have nothing against me, but there can not be any trial when key section of the constitution and a key section of the Supreme Court judgment have been violated by a court of law. This is my fourth year in solemn confinement in detention. The fifth year won't kill me, he said. Record that since June 2021, Kano has been arrested by the Nigerian government and has been under the custody of the Department of Service Security, despite wide range call for his release. Welcome back, wonderful people. Uh, that one is coming directly uh, is a memo, a communique uh, released by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Maze, Nandekano, Omadike, one of Ndibo, Odogwana, Manzunanya, Nasena Mukwekene, Langekene. The man don't talk in mind, though. He say, as he did be, uh, since uh, the court of competent jurisdiction that is supposed to be the hope of the common man have refused. Uh, to abide uh, by the main constitution. <laughs> uh, he said they are doing what he called uh, uh, with picking. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, all my followers will be legal luminaries and uh, in the court of law will not understand that one uh, because that time when we did school, they said they, uh, they waited in the column the responsibility of the judiciary not to interpret uh, the, the law. <laughs> The legislature never can again. They say me they carry money they go executive. Yo, <laughs> um, as some people they talk about the security, uh, mass now that kind of they talk about in freedom. Uh, the people where they for south is they talk about sit at home. If you, they go to the north, they talk about bandits and terrorism. <laughs> if you go to the west, I'm not talking themselves, they fight them there. And uh, if you go all over the nation, you find out say, you know, is there. But the president, they buy yacht, uh, yacht what billions. They even don't buy uh, luxurious cars and the rest of them. Uh, they are children are abroad study. Meanwhile, I carry you go back to that matter where we say concern and the kind because the man don't they complain. No, he said this one won't kill him. And that reminds me of a hero, uh, one of the African heroes, uh, Nelson Mandela, who you know was in the, in detention for twenty seven years or thereabout. And came out in March as the president of South Africa. And um, of course, you know that before Mazen Nandi kind of started this journey, I'm not talking about people like Ojuku. Ojuku was the father father of the 1967 to 1970, who declared the, the, the Republic of Biafra that brought about that civil war that took the life of uh, about uh, 4 million people uh, from Biafrans. But as it is now, after that, there were other people who rose to see if this drink could be actualized. And one of the visible people, people who were very, you know, vibrant around 1999 was people like, uh, was Rike who started the Masop. And um, I think Masop celebrated either their 20 or 25 years of existence. Uh, you check from 1999 to 2024, I think it's uh, 25 years of existence as a, as a struggling uh, uh, or, or as a, activist community that have been struggling for freedom now as it is in nigeria masob has become more or so like a legalized organization if you go to some uh, uh, you can hire masob for security many many things for bouncer all those things <laughs> but now 
around 2014-2015, somebody like Mazina Nekanos of Faith started speaking the truth, started opening up on the secrecies of the government, and I believe that Mazina Nekanos incarceration is not a coincidence. It's not as a result of maybe him fighting for the parts of Biafra, but if you look at his uh, podcast from 2015 to around 2017-2018, you will be able to understand that this man has actually exposed today's government before now. He made it clear in Nigeria that if you don't have a bicycle, you have to buy it now. That time we come in Nigeria when fuel will be sold for 2000 And that is what is actually happening now. And some people will think that it is a prophecy, but it is not a prophecy. It's tactical. That's a that's a meticulous, a meticulous reasoning and looking into matters. He was able to look into that matters. He was able to, you know, diagnose the matters of Nigeria. And he was able to understand, look at where these people are going. And today, is it not happening? It's happening in Nigeria. Fuel is now 1,003 uh, something. Very soon, by December, we know it's going to get to 2,000. And that's the target. Dangote refinery is done. And they are saying that Dangote will be selling at home distribution. Now, 180 something naira per liter. This Dangote's price, the NMPPC have not given their own price. Of course, you know that by the time the NMPPC give their price and their, uh, their, their, their expenses, their expenditure and everything, they will be arriving at let it be uh, let it be static at 1,200. <laughs> that will tell you that over the dollar. But we are not yet sure of whatever Dangote is doing. They say Dangote fuel is fine, this and that. We have not seen it. And this will help you to understand why people like Ohamadike is still incarcerated in the DSS custody. But meanwhile, see you on the next edition. This is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first to collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.